This is Doug Brunk for Global Medical News Network, reporting from the Las Vegas Dermatology Seminar, sponsored by the Skin Disease Education Foundation. Dr. Craig Leonardi of the Department of Dermatology at St. Louis University discussed the use of acetretin for the treatment of psoriasis. This is uh, not a new drug. Acetretin has been around for quite some time, uh, stretching back to its predecessor, uh, etretinate, uh, as early as uh, 1986. So this is a well-known, a well-understood drug. The research trials uh, clearly show that this drug has a modest effect on psoriasis when used as monotherapy. It really shines, though, when it's used in combination therapy, and where uh, it does the best is in combination with ultraviolet light therapy. So acetretin with PUVA, acetretin with narrowband UVB, acetretin with UVB broadband uh, has significant improvement and, and uh, that's a high performance combination for patients who uh, can uh, comply with the phototherapy regimen and also uh, tolerate the medication. What are some of the main safety concerns of acetretin that dermatologists should be aware of? Uh, teratogenicity is the number one issue. Uh, females of childbearing potential should not receive this medication, and I'm still amazed at how many uh, patients are placed on this. I, I get one patient a month referred to me uh, for treatment who is, in fact, on acetretin and a female of childbearing potential. Uh, due to its long half-life, this just shouldn't happen. Uh, the other issues are quite clear with acetretin, uh, including uh, uh, dyslipidemia, elevations in cholesterol and triglycerides, and also uh, minor uh, liver function abnormalities that can occur. Uh, all of these are dose dependent, so you see this uh, with the higher doses, and of course, that's where the efficacy is. For Global Medical News Network, this is Doug Brunk.